hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new design tutorial today so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification again i'm going to the file and new and from here i'll take another artboard and giving the name water and in the create button i'm going to the ellipse tool or at first i should take the background go to the rectangle tool take the rectangle 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and hit ok and turn off the stroke give the fill color like this and just place it in the middle make sure that align to artboard is on otherwise it don't work and now lock it up take a new layer upper side of this locked layer and after that here go to the ellipse tool make ellipse like that and change the color into white and the alignment to the artboard top and the horizontal and vertical alignment done and now i'll go to the rectangle tool take a rectangle or take a square shape actually i'm changing the square shape color and now i'll just place it in a center by using the alignment tool nice after that here just shift press the shift button and hold it and rotate this one like that and select the anchor point which is the round for that and if you want to get the anchor point over here in a creative cloud version go to the view options and make sure that hide corner wedges or show corner wedges is just on if i make the hide corner the corner will hide and show corner wedges the corner will be again appear and now drag inside of that so which anchor point you want to drag or you want to round you have to select that things by pressing shift and hold it and then drag it into middle after that i'm making it a little bit bigger and select these two things circle is the key subject and making the alignment in a middle after that select these two things again and here i'll just make it minus from the pathfinder if you want to get the pathfinder over here go to the window and here is the pathfinder and here from minus this thing okay now i will give the wave over there how to give the wave here uh, i'll take another ellipse tool so the ellipse will be only the stroke from here i'm giving the color the another color which will help you out to indicate or like a piece to english and from here i'm just placing it here and after that press holder option button select here 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 or you can make the alignment properly so selecting all the lines and going to the alignment over here and make this align to selection and make this like that and align to selection and make these like okay select all the things and then you can make it all the things uh, like uh, with a path pathfinder from here like pathfinder tool just divide over here if you want to get the pathfinder over here go to the window and pathfinder okay select all the, all the things and then right press and ungroup and all the things the unnecessary things should be deleted like this okay deleting here here and here okay fine now we are getting the deferred or we are getting the separated files or separated okay here the color swatch i will select here ash color and then okay select these two things select these two things actually okay you are getting like that so if you want to make the prominent shadow how to do that make this one in upper side uh, just uh, here uh, just uh, just notice the shortcut keys just because of it will help you out more perfectly go to the effect and go to the drop shadow from here the styles and the drop shadow and give the drop shadow like this make it 50 percent 3 pixel y 3 pixel and 7 for that and hit ok and same things go to the effects styles drop shadow and preview mode on hit ok and these two things as well so going to the effects styles drop shadow 
and hit ok these things effect styles drop shadow here preview on and hit ok and if you need you can give another thing uh, go to the effects styles drop shadow preview and hit ok so you are getting this type of shadow with that the wave with the water and everything is like creative hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video i may say i'm sending out today bye bye